Howdy y'all, Bryce here, and I'm playing some Human Resource Machine. Now, this is a game I didn't even know about, uh, and I think it's been out for a couple of years now, but I got it on a recent Humble Bundle as one of the many games that I got as part of the uh, Freedom Bundle, which was uh, three weeks ago, month ago, not exactly sure when, but uh, as a result, I was going through that log of all the different games that I got, and I was like, oh, this looks great. And when I looked at the art style, I realized, like, oh, this is from the people who made uh, World of Goo and, oh, what was that? My Little Inferno, I believe. Um, it's a very unique art style, very cool art style. And so I thought, why not give this one a quick little show? And at the end of this video, just so you know, there will also be tacked on a playthrough of the just recently released uh, Ape Out, which is a uh, demo. It's a playable trailer for that game. It's only like a two and a half minute little thing, so it's kind of like a little short. So I thought I'd put it on the end of another video so y'all could see that. So be sure to stay tuned for that right before the credits. All right, let's go ahead and let's play some Human Resource Machine. Yes, please select your employer ID. New! I have your photo here somewhere. Which one is yours? Uh, ooh, I love the green. We're going, we're going with the uh, little green lady, I think. Yes, that photo looks just like you. Here's your badge. Please proceed to the elevator. Alright, let's do it. Okay, to the mailroom. I think it's kind of like a puzzle game or a programming game or something. That's what the description is. Oh, okay. Welcome to your first day. You look like an excellent instruction follower. Your first job will appear over there on the right side in a moment. Okay? Remember, you can always ask me for help. Drag commands into this area to build a program. Your program should tell your worker to grab each thing from the inbox and drop it into the outbox. Okay, so do I grab inbox, uh, outbox? Okay, and then if I hit play, does that just mean she's just gonna take it from in to out? Not enough stuff in the outbox! Management expected a total of three items, not one. Stop and reset. So then do I have to go like like this then? So I have to program for each component? I thought maybe it would repeat itself, was what I was doing before. All right, and then I can turn up the speed, it looks like. Boom, boom, boom. All right, cool. Gotcha. Gotcha. We did it. Nailed it. Aced it. 100%. Best thing ever. Okay. Continue to the elevator. Busy mailroom. Let's do it. Year two. All right. Well, looks like you made it this far. Boots! Okay. Congratulations on your promotion. Most people stress out and quit before making it this far. But I can tell you have a bright future in inbox outbox management. Here's your new assignment. Uh, grab each thing from the inbox and drop each one into the outbox. Okay, that's the first part. You got a new command. You can drag jumps arrow to jump to different lines within your program. This new ability, you can complete this assignment using only three total commands. Okay, so... Uh, inbox, outbox, jump. And I want it to go to there. Gotcha. So that's how you set up loops. Okay, let's speed this up. There we go. Boots. Quince. Boot sequence. Boot sequence activated. Busy mailroom, year two. Your presence is requested on the next floor. Let's go. All right. Copy floor. Year three. Oh no! The inbox conveyor system is completely broken. But that doesn't mean we get to take a break from work. Ignore the inbox for now and just send the following three letters to the outbox. Bug. The facilities manager staff has placed some items over there on the carpet for you. If only there were a way you could pick them up. Okay. Copy from. What does this do? Aha! B. To the outbox. Okay. Do I want to do a jump? I don't think I do. Because I need to grab different letters. So then copy from the U. Okay. Outbox. And then copy from... Uh, nope. Hold on. Copy from G. There we go. Uh, and then outbox. Let's see if that does it. Play. What does that do? Okay. Cool. Got it. Bug time. Let's go. Super fast. Gub. Or does it have to be in the right order when it goes out? Okay. Cool. Continuing. All right, I dig these kinds of games. Y'all know me. I love puzzly whatever type games. Let's just play through for a little bit. See how far we get. I don't know if we'll finish the whole thing. I think it's a longer game than that, but we'll see. All right, the conveyor system is fixed and just in time for you to get to work. The data won't collate itself. Grab the first two things from the inbox and drop them into the outbox in the reverse order. Repeat until the inbox is empty. Okay. Let's try and figure out how to make this an efficient system. 
So I want to copy. So okay, here we go. Go inbox, copy to zero. So let's see what that hap what what happens when we do that. Okay. And then what do I do with them? Because once I've got it, I can't just put it down, can I? All right, let's step back. Uh, let's stop. Okay, so let's try again. Let's try it this way then. Copy from. Uh, copy from. Come here. Here. Can't. You can only copy from these spaces. So I need to do. Um, nope. Inbox. Let's trash this. How do I take you out of here? Clear. Yes. All right. Inbox. Copy to uh, here. Then I want to go back to the inbox. Uh, is there a way to trash things? No. And then copy to one. And then I want to... Um, oh. Well, okay. We'll just, we'll just set it up like this for now. So then copy from one outbox. Copy from zero outbox. And then jump back to the beginning. Let's see if that works. So, you put that there. Okay. All right, cool. She does just break them. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Put that down. Go back here. Put that down. And we're good. And so then they're in reverse order, right? Got it. Scrambler handler. We did it. Next one. Coffee time. You're five. Oh, cool. It's a little, little thing. Just a little thing. Hi. Back to work, everyone. Back to work. Mm. Regions of the city continue to experience power failure. Local authorities are investigating. It's unfortunate. Okay. Okay. Hmm. All right, rainy summer, and then it looks like we get into, ah, I see there's like some side quests, and then there's the main quests. There's a lot. We're not going to get through all this today, I don't think, but uh, who knows, maybe we'll do like a couple episodes of this one, because it looks like a short-er game. I could probably get through half of it, so maybe it's like a two-episoder. We'll see. Let's just go. All right. Ugh. Welcome to my personal rain cloud. I was never very good at math, since I have only three fingers on each hand, but here you don't actually need to know very much about math to complete these assignments. For each two things in the inbox, add them together and put the result in the outbox. Okay. Uh. All right. Let's let's see what happens if I just go inbox add. Okay. So it has to be from a component here. So let's uh, undo. We're gonna do inbox copy two space zero. Inbox copy two. Space one. Add zero. Add one. Maybe like that. And then outbox. And then jump back to the beginning. Because for every two things, add them together and put the result in the outbox. Oh, to whatever value you're currently holding. I see. Okay, never mind. Let's reset this. I should always read those instructions a little bit more clearly. Uh, undo, clear. Clear, clear, clear. All right. So we want to go inbox, uh, copy to, space zero. Then we want to go back to the inbox, and we want to say add, space zero. Then we want to put it in the outbox. Then we want to jump back to the beginning, I believe. All right, let's try it out. Put that down. Grab this. Add that. Boop. And then outbox. Perfect. Let's do it. Huh? Love this kind of stuff. I love it. I love that it's like a cute little game. Because I love weird programming games. Usually they look like programming games. This, uh, it's got a nice, fun, cute uh, style to it. All right, we're actually going to go try to do these side quests, and then we'll come back up this other side. We'll see. The Tripler Room, year eight. Who are you? This optional area is for high performing employees only. Is that you? Well, you're late. Seven years late. We need to make some changes around here. I want to see 100% performance increase. From this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. For each thing in the inbox, triple it. Uh, and outbox the result. Oh, man. 
For each thing, you want to triple it and outbox a result. So what I want to do is I want to copy from. No, 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 no. I want to inbox. Copy to space zero. Um, then I want to add zero. Add, because I think I'll still be holding it at that point. Add zero. Then outbox it. And then jump it. I might have to do uh, a, 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 another step in there, but we'll see. So I grab it. I copy it. I add it. I add it. I take it back out. Boom. Done. No problem. Got it, son. Yeah. Okay. Use six or fewer commands. Did it. Okay. Gotcha. These challenges can be very difficult. In many cases, not possible to optimize both simultaneously with one solution. Okay. Good to know. So these are going to be real challenges. These are going to be real deal challenges here. The Octiplier Suite. Well, okay, we did year eight before year seven. So let's do year seven, and then we'll do year nine, and then we'll do 10, then we'll do 11, then we'll do 12, and then we'll go back up. All right, we'll do it in order. We'll do it in the way we're supposed to. Okay. Where do you see yourself in five years? Or ten years? I have a note here from your other bosses. At this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. What a treat. All right. Send all things that are not zero. Oh, my gosh. You got a new command. It jumps only if the value you are holding is zero. Otherwise, it continues to the next line. Uh, okay. So, the first thing you do is you go inbox. Send all things that are not zero to the outbox. So, what you do is you go inbox, jump if zero, back to the beginning, and then outbox. Right? Let's try it. You got it? It's good. Not enough stuff in the outbox. Oh, <laughs> duh. I forgot to tell it to jump back. Step back. Uh, and then, also, jump back. Okay. Done. Right? Done. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum, bum. Use four or fewer commands. Good. And speed. Perfect. Did it. But I, I shouldn't plan on being able to do that every time. Because, it, like it said, sometimes it's going to be uh, one or the other, basically. Okay, it has come to our attention that the Zero Advocacy community felt the previous site was not inclusive. This time sent only the zeros to the outbox. What happens to the other numbers and letters? Management leaves the details up to you. All right, so, inbox. Jump if zero. No, no, from here. Jump down this way. And if... Uh, if not zero, jump back to the beginning. So basically this is checking if it's a zero. If so, carry forward. If it's not a zero, jump back to the beginning, go back to the inbox. So... Jump if zero, and then it said copy to, or take it to the outbox, right? Jump to outbox. Uh, and then jump back to the beginning. Send only the zeros to the outbox. All right, I think that's, I think that's right. Play, let's do it. Yep, yep, got it. Okay. And, ah, too many steps. Your solution. Completes in 28 steps on average. These challenges can be very difficult. In many cases, not possible to optimize. All right. It's good to know. So it must be a more efficient way. I'm going to do something real quick. And this might help a little bit. I'm going to move my face over to this side. And that way, you'll be able to read the actual instructions uh, on the side there. All right. So let's go to number 10. Oh, and as you see, it shows little dots next to there to tell us which ones. So now I'm over covering my character, but at least you'll be able to read the full instructions. Yes, you can always check your own performance on each side of its optimization challenges. The two green lights next to each button in the elevator will tell you how you're doing. Is there anything in life more thrilling than self-improvement? All right. For each thing in the inbox, multiply it by eight uh, and put the result in the outbox. Using a bunch of ad commands is easy but wasteful. Can you do it using only three ad commands? Management is watching. Hmm. Only three ad commands. So here's the question. Because what I can do is I can add, and then place that, and then add that together, right? So that's only going to be two add commands. Uh, I want to multiply it by eight. So yeah, you can do it three that way. So what you'll do is you go inbox, and you go copy to zero. And then you say add from zero. Then you copy to one, or two, apparently. No, one. Okay. Then you add one. Then you copy to two. Or I guess you don't even actually use multiple spaces. I could just do it like this, right? I could just keep copying over the same spot. Uh, and then uh, add uh, from two. And then outbox, right? 
and then jump back to the beginning. Let's see. So this should end up being 16, is what we're hoping for, right? And there you go. Got it. Wait. The Octiplier, size challenge, use nine or fewer commands. All right, we got it. Speed challenge 36. It didn't have anything to say about the three add commands, although it probably helped make it shorter. So that's the thing. All right, year 11, let's do it. Okay. Subtraction. I never learned that in school, did you? We had a good team. All right, for each two things in the inbox, first subtract the first from the second and put the result in the outbox. Um, so sub, I wonder, does it, let's see, you got to command subtracts the contents of a tile on the floor from whatever value you're currently holding. So the one I'm holding is what I'm going to subtract from. Uh, okay, so what I want to do then is I want to go inbox, uh, copy two, spot one or zero, uh, and then inbox, sub, zero, sub zero, and then jump to the beginning. Uh, oh, no, 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 uh, outbox, the last part. That should do it. Bad outbox management, expected minus seven, but you outboxed minus six. Step back, what happened wrong? Let's see. But it worked right the first time. Let's try again. So I grab four, I place it there, right? I go back, I grab eight, I subtract four, from eight, I get four. That's what I wanted, right? Okay, go back, nine, copy it to there, right? Great, grab that, minus that. Expected minus four. Subtract the second from the first and put the result in the outbox, repeat. I think I'm not understanding what that's actually. First, subtract the first from the second and put it in the outbox, and then, Subtract the second from the first. Ah, gotcha. I didn't read the second part of that. That's why you want to read the whole instruction set. Okay, so what we do then is we first, okay, we go inbox, we go copy two, uh, one. So basically, first things we do is we go and we copy each thing. Then we're still holding number two at this point, so we subtract zero, we go to the outbox. Then we go copy from, space zero, and sub space one. Then we jump to the beginning. Let's try that now. So I'm doing four minus five first, okay? Or five minus four first, right? Then I run back and I go four minus five, negative one. Oh, whoops, nope, stop, stop, stop. Out box, and there we go. All right, that'll do it. Got it, nailed it. I was confused by the, uh, I didn't read the full set of instructions. That was my bad. That happens. That happens when you're like me. You get a little ahead of things. All right. Uh, so that was number 11. Let's do number 12. The Tetra Contiplier. The Markiplier. Uh, what a wonderful feeling. When all your work over the last few years all comes together. And Coleman hates in a well executed assignment. All right. For each thing in the inbox, multiply it by 40 and put the result in the outbox. Multiply it by 40. I'm just thinking, like, how can you really do it 40 times? But 40 is how many times itself? Like, what is the, uh, what is the square of 40? Square root. All right, now I gotta do, like, math in my head. I gotta figure this one out. Cause you're gonna go um, hmm. Wow, that's interesting. Multiply it by 40 and put the result in the outbox. Because, like, I could do the 40 adds, but you can also do, you can multiply it up to 32. Okay. Man, that's so weird. All right, I see. Okay, so first thing we want to do is we want to go inbox. Copy to uh, space zero, right? And then what we do is we add space zero, copy to space zero, add to space zero, uh, uh, 
So I've now turned it from two times to four times, and this will be the eighth, eighth times. So copy to zero. Uh, now I want to add <laughs> space zero. Copy to space one. Add space one. Uh, and then I think add space zero and then outbox. Let me just see if this works properly. I, I don't know if I did the number of them correctly, but I, the idea is, I think is there. So basically now it's doubled. Now it's quadrupled. Now it's octupled. I move that over. So now I've got that saved. Oh, that's where I screwed it up. I screwed that up. Um, so what I meant to do, so saving the 80, uh, or the, the 40 there. So I got it good up until that point. So the this step is proper. So that's good. Then what I need to do... Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Five times uh, eight is 40. So for, the 40 there is good. Now I need to multiply it twice more. So I need to, uh, let's get rid of this. Oh man, this is, it's, it's boggling my brain. But all right, so what I want to do is I want to add, all right, let's, can I just get rid of these like this? Yeah, okay. Uh, so let's copy to zero. So we're overwriting zero, adding zero to itself, copying to one. Adding one, copying to one, adding zero. The number I need to end up with, all right, so two, I need to end up with the number 80 is what I need to end up with. And this number should be 16. It's 32. Okay, 32, good. 64, grab that. 80, and we're good. Okay, cool. And now we outbox it and we jump to the beginning. All right. Hopefully, y'all can understand what I was doing there. I was, I was, a lot of that was going on up in my brain box up in here, just because of doing math and doing math, especially when you're like uh, uh, recording a let's play. Really tricky to do. <laughs> uh, there's probably too many commands though, right? Ah, oh, one too many. I know exactly what steps I can get rid of. Can I go back? Uh, I don't need to copy this one. Because it's the last one. You don't pull from it again. So I'll at least reduce it a little bit. I was being very mechanical in my programming. Did it! Both of them! Oh, son! Nailed it! So all these we got, it's only this one that we didn't get, so we may have to come back and do that. All right, let's do a couple more. Uh, maybe we'll get to the, one of the next copy breaks, and then that'll be where, we, uh, where we'll call it for this uh, play, this episode. We might do a couple more. Let's play the whole thing, because it's, it's a cute, short little game, it looks like. Sometimes, some numbers are bigger than others, and sometimes they are the same. How can we know? I read about that here on this great book. Which number are you for the aspirational zero? You can borrow it later. Hello, world. Oh, that's cute. Hello. Okay. Get two things from the inbox. If they are equal, put one of them in the outbox. Discard non-equal pairs. What is this? Use comments to leave helpful notes for yourself within your program. Does not affect your program in any way other than making it easier for you to read. Holy butts. You got comments! You can use them if you like to mark sections of your program. So that's what this guy's talking about. Hello, world. All right. Um, get two things from the inbox. How can I search for if they are equal? Like I get, does not affect your program in any way other than making it easier for you to read. I get that I can use comments. How do you, how do I analyze the number? So I'll go take a number and I can put it down. How do you compare numbers to one another? Oh! You add them together, or you subtract them from one another, 
If zero is the number you're left with, jump ahead. If not, jump back. So get two things from the inbox. If they're equal, put one of them in the outbox. Discard non-equal pairs, repeat. Gotcha. So what we do is we go to the inbox. We copy to zero. We go to the inbox. We subtract, oh no, 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 first copy to one. We uh, subtract zero. Uh, jump if zero ahead. Jump if non-zero back uh, and start anew. And that way we're discarding the pair. And then if we did it properly, um, copy from uh, zero outbox. Copy from one outbox. And then, oh no, so this jump just needs to be, so jump if zero to here. And then at the end, we jump all the way back to the beginning. All right, I think that should do it. Ah, it took me a little bit. It took me a little bit to think about that one. Maybe this game will be a little bit longer than I expected. All right, so nine minus one, not zero. So we throw them away. All right, four, place it, great. Take the four, place it, great. Subtract. They're the same, awesome. There's one, and there is two. What? So I can only I only release a single digit? Step back. Am I only supposed to put out one digit? Is that what's up? Let me read the instructions again. Ah, put one of them in the outbox. Cool, gotcha, so take this out, take that out. We're good, play, we got it. Nailed it, and the negative eight will work. Got it. Again, pay attention to the instructions. Too many steps, too many speeds. Let's check real quick. Is there anything I can get rid of? Um, oh, I don't need to copy this. I don't need to copy that if we only need one copy. Um, yeah. Got it. So that should be a little bit more successful. One too many steps. Let me think. How can I make that quicker? One too many steps. Huh. I might have to think on that one. That's interesting. All right, well, I, I won't think too hard on that one. Let's just skip ahead, and uh, maybe we'll uh, come back. It's interesting. But that could be one, like they said, where it's like to do it the other way, you have to sacrifice something else, like take less steps, but more instructions. Uh, all right, let's do number 14, the maximization. There's been a change of plans! The accounting department has determined that trading our numbers equally is no longer profitable. Management wants the big numbers only, the big ins! Alright, um... Jump if negative, jump if zero. Gotcha. Grab two things from the inbox and put only the bigger of the two in the outbox. If they are equal, just pick either one. Repeat. Um... Okay, so we use jumps. So jump if positive is what this becomes if you put it after jump if, if negative and jump if zero. Um... So... A similar program to the last one we did. We go inbox. We go copy two, space one. Um, two things from the inbox and put only the bigger of the two. So then we will subtract. So we'll go back to the inbox. Sub zero. Okay. Then if negative. Ah, oh crap. I'm going to need to copy though. So before we do that, so we go inbox, copy to one. Because I need to have both of them there so I can make a choice at the end. So uh, what we do is we say, um, now we go sub, zero. Uh, jump, if negative, we jump to one certain part of our thing. So we're gonna write the if, oh, 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 bad. Hold on, hold on, give me a second. Technical difficulties. Oh boy. There we go. Don't worry about that one. You don't type in it. You only scribble in it. Um, so. 
but we'll go um, negative. Look at my great handwriting. All right, so negative goes here. So once we do sub zero, we go jump if negative, okay, to the negative zone. And this is where we'll describe all of our negative related stuff. So if the answer is negative, that means that the number I'm holding above my head is the smaller of the two. So I need to copy from zero, the first number, uh, and outbox it. And then jump to the beginning. If, no, now we'll say, um, Z row. Now you can see, this is how I do my Z's. I put a little dash through them. That's how I learned from my mom. Uh, if zero, so jump if zero to the zero time, the zero zone. And from there, we say they're equal. So, oh, you know what? We can actually say that from here. Because if you can pick either, do the same thing that you do for negative, save us some extra steps, right? So we'll actually throw this away. So then all we have is that we have the one for positive. Pause. Okay. Now, so we jump from here. If we didn't make it through those two steps, we jump to here. And so what that does is it will say copy from slot one, because that means the bigger number that we have uh, is the one we're holding. Um, and then we outbox, and then we jump. Okay. And go. She places that one down. She takes that one. All right, this is a zero. So where do we go? We jump to the copy from there and go. Good to go. All right, negative nine. Place that there. Negative three should be bigger. Oh, this is an interesting one. All right, so it was right. Okay, I was worried about the, the way that the subtraction would work out. I wasn't sure how the game would calculate it. Realizing after the fact that obviously that worked the way it should. Uh, okay, and then zero, and then negative two, pick the zero, and there you go. Nailed it. All right, y'all. Man, it's complex. It's fun, though. Oh, I love it. All right, let's do a couple more. Let's do a couple more. I know I've been going a little bit longer than I initially wanted to. Man, you can really uh, reduce that. These challenges can be very difficult, and in many cases, not possible to optimize both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll maybe come back to that later if we want to be perfect. But honestly, at the moment, I'm kind of like, I'm just enjoying doing these, just solving the problems in general. All right. Employee morale insertion, year 15. And that, ladies, is how I saved a bundle on my long-distance telephone service. Oh. <laughs> back to work, everyone. <laughs> Huh? A massive army of machines has surrounded the city. The machines are not moving, and they are not communicating. Local authorities are investigating. Great! Great. All right, let's do absolute positivity, and then we'll do that other bonus one over there, and that's where we'll end this episode. All right, ha ha! Positive attitudes were determined to increase productivity, and are now therefore mandatory. Smile! Management is watching. Okay, send each thing from the inbox to the outbox, but if a number is negative, first remove its negative sign. Because the way that you can make a negative number positive is add it to itself twice, right? Or subtract it. You subtract a negative from a negative, that makes it positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, inbox. Jump if negative. Down to the nega zone. So we assume it's positive. Um, and so if it's, if it's not, we just go straight to the outbox. Uh, if it's negative, we then do the steps of copy two, slot one, subtract slot one, or slot, slot two, twice, and then outbox it, I think. Let's try this. Worked. Oh. Whoops. Whoa, that's right, 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 right. Um, so we gotta go like that. I forgot the jump. Forgot the jump. Forgot the reset. 
So, carry that across. Great. Now, jump if negative. Copy to there. Zero. Plus five. Good to go. Got it. Oh, math. <laughs> not, not my strongest suit, but I'll take it. Oh, I could have done it in nine, apparently. Let me just look at it real quick, because there's something I think I could get rid of. There's nine total steps. How could I reduce any of those? I don't know that I can. Um, unless I did something like, I could maybe get rid of one of the jumps is all I'm thinking. Here's what I can do. Let's get rid of that. Let's try that. Basically, I just, I'm having them both use the same outbox number. Works fine. Okay, cool. And that should be eight. Got it. Oh, okay, so the speed challenge we got last time, this time we it took us longer, but overall we got them both. Cool. Last one, the exclusive lounge. Yes, I've always felt most comfortable with nice, cold, logical decisions. Most decisions for the week. All right, for each two things in the inbox, send a zero to the outbox if they have the same sign, both positive or both negative. Send a one to the outbox if their signs are different. Repeat until the inbox is empty. Um, send a zero if they have the same sign, both positive or both negative. Send a one if their signs are different. Wow. This is going to take me an hour. I'll figure it out. This is going to take me a while. So for y'all, this is probably already cut all over the place. So y'all just get to see the solution rather than me uh, struggling for probably what will be the next hour. So see ya. See, see ya there. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm getting the idea now. Pick it up. If it's negative, go back. Pick it up. If it's negative, go grab a zero. And if that's not the case, then move down to positive. All right. Okay. 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 Negative. Okay. So we go inbox. Jump if negative. Go to the inbox again. All right. Um, if that wasn't the case, jump if positive. We head to a different zone, and we're going to call this the positive zone. Uh, positive. It's got plus on it. Posts. Plus, go like this, and go like this, and go like this, and it's a nice plus sign. It's a nice, it's a nice plus sign. Um, okay, now, let's see. So, inbox. Jump if negative. Uh, to this zone. Otherwise, we jump down to the positive zone. Okay, so in the negative zone, when I go to the inbox, jump if negative. Otherwise, go to here. So, if it's the same digit, uh, so if they have the same sign, both positive or both negative, send a zero. So, copy from, so if I go to the inbox and it's different, I want to copy from one, outbox, jump. Okay, if it's negative, I jump down here, and I copy from uh, zero and then outbox. Right. But instead of having it like that, I can do this and I can say out. Okay, so I, what I do is I go copy from, outbox, jump, okay? Or copy from, outbox, jump. Okay, so both of those send it back. Now, if I grab, uh, so that's the outputs. So then what I do is, uh, oh God, it's, I'm, I'm, it's such a mess. Jump if negative to the negative zone. Then I check the inbox. 
if the inbox um, is negative, we jump to... So this is negative, negative. We want to go to here. If it's positive, all right, we jump to here. Copy from five, send it out. So that means in a situation where we started with a negative and then we ended with a positive, uh, we swap places. Now, uh, got to do the flip side here. So we started positive, we jump down to here. Jump if negative, and that means they're different. So we copy from five. Uh, otherwise, hold on, inbox. Uh, otherwise, we jump to zero, so four. So jump to here. Either way, we end up jumping back home. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Okay, first one worked. Okay. I mean, it worked. <laughs> no way. So many commands. Too many commands. Too many steps. But that's fine. That's fine. I solved that problem. It, it, it didn't take me as long as I thought it was. It just it took me reframing it in my mind the way that it works. And I'm sure now that I know that, I could go in uh, back into this and refine it now that I know that it works. But just to give a summary of the solution, uh, it was, what you do is you pick the thing up and then you do a jump from, you just basically like check, is it negative, right? And then from there you do a series of jumps and then it is just, it's a, it's a, you know, nested series where you go like, all right, if, uh, if negative, move to step one. All right, if still negative, move to the end. If positive, move to this one. If negative, do, and so it just, it, it's a nested series of, uh, things. Anyway, y'all, well... We're gonna end this episode here. We have, I don't know, another 20 or so missions, maybe a little bit more, I can't quite tell, um, left. But uh, we're gonna save that for another future episode because I would like to continue to play this for y'all. But be sure now to stick around and uh, check out at the end of this episode, right now, starting right as I stop talking, the uh, playable trailer for the game Ape Out coming from Devolver Digital. I played it the other day. I wanted to show it to y'all. It's only about two, three minutes. Um, and uh, yeah, with that, uh, I will see y'all next time. Howdy y'all, Price here, and I'm about to play the Ape Out playable trailer. I don't know really anything about this other than it's a Devolver digital published game and they tweeted about it saying, hey, go play the demo on Steam. And I was like, okay, let's check it out. So uh, y'all know us, we love us some Devolver digital games. So anything having to do with that, I just want to check what are the different options. Okay, pretty simple. It said controller recommended at the beginning, so I am using a controller. Uh, and let's see what this is all about. Ape Out, I think we're an ape breaking out of a, a zoo or something. Oh. Oh yeah. In association with the Indie Fund. Left stick, right trigger. So left stick moves. Right trigger. Bam! We're aping out! Oh, get wrecked. Okay, okay. A game by game because of the O. Oh. Get wrecked. Oh. What other controls are there? Any? Uh nothing else. Whoa! Oh I got shot! Oh no! Oh no! Run away! Hide behind the thing. Get wrecked! <laughs> I'm going ape, y'all! Grab his left trigger. Okay. Oh, rip that up. Get in here, nerds. Get wrecked! Gra oh, you can grab a guy and throw the guy. Oh, I see! Oh, no, no, no. Leave me alone. Get thrown! Oh, I'm on fire! <laughs> I'm on fire! Oh no! Oh no! I'm on fire! Oh, that's rad when you throw him like that, though. Get out of here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Give me you. Get thrown. Get thrown. Get thrown. Get thrown. Get thrown! Get thrown! You. You belong to me now. Yeah, you shoot your friend. Get wrecked. Get wrecked! Nope. Up against that wall! Yeah! Ape out, summer of 2017. Okay! <laughs>
<laughs> that's pretty cool. All right. Well, that's probably too short for me to put as its own video. Maybe I tacked this on to the end of another video as something special. Hmm. We'll see. But uh, all right, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Ape out coming out in the summer, I guess. We'll uh, maybe check that game out when it comes out. Looks styling as hell. All right, y'all. See you later.